try me, you know you will get dealt. I know that I'm the best, that's why I'm feeling myself. Competition, I be giving up hell. I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah. Close the coffin and just put in a nail. And if you're up against me, then you're gonna need help. You can run and hide, but who you gonna tell? I'm focused, I'm focused, yeah. What up, what up, what up, YouTube family and 4 nail Nation, AI the Mutt Mechanic coming back to you with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about the next tip in auction hall basics. And auction hall basics basics is basically some tips and advice for you know when you're working the block and kind of some illustrations of what you need to do and what you need to look for. So in this particular video, we're gonna talk about the need for rules. And what I mean for what I mean about that is let's go to the auction hall real quick whenever you're buying and selling you need to have rules to, to, to kind of stipulate how you're gonna go about working the block so let's go into a, a, an example real quick let's go to um, what did I say we were doing this weekend oh I said uh, rising stars rising stars Wide receivers were actually pretty hot this weekend. It probably still are, if I believe. Let's uh, get the auction browser category set up correct. Rising stars. All right. So now the need for rules. So basically, what you see now is I'm looking at Cordell Patterson, Mike Evans, and Malcolm Sanu. I think his name is Malcolm Sanu. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know his name, but. Excuse me, and, and Dante McCree. So, what you want to do is see, I have a rule. My rule is I only if I'm if I'm buying and selling, I only want to buy cards that's about 3k or less, and I'm gonna sell those cards between 65 and 8500. That's my rule. So, uh, couple with sniping. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and refresh a little bit. See if we can get some good deals. Couple with that, that that mandates that I'm gonna get at least four, three to four thousand dollars, well not thousand dollars, three or four thousand coins profit each time I I buy and sell a card. So that's a rule I have. Now depending on the rarity of the card, I might change the rule. I might buy one for like forty five hundred. See like these um I don't see too many of these Malcolm Sanus or Sanus, I'm just gonna call him Sanu since I don't know his first name. I don't see too many of these Sanus up right now. So what I might do, and see, look, he's going for, he's going for about 85, 9,000. So what I might do is I might go 45 and I might sell them for 85. You see what I'm saying? So you have to have rules to kind of stipulate how you want to move across the auction block. You're buying and selling. So I would just keep refreshing, keep refreshing, keep refreshing, and try to snipe me a, a 3,000 coin or less card Hopefully it'll be a Sanu, but anything else, I guarantee I'm gonna be able to sell it for at least 3,000 to 4,000 coin profit at the minimum. So that's the rule I set for myself. Um, and this could apply to any card. The first thing you have to know in, in creating rules is you have to know the market. You have to know the value of these particular cards. Now for wide receiver cards, long pass and goal and uh, ground and pound chemistries go for the premium. I mean, right now you see them for low, but long pass first, ground pa uh, ground and pound second. Those cards are usually going, people will usually pay a little bit more for those particular cards. As you can see here, the um, Mike Evans just sold for 5,700 coins. But yeah, those cards go for a premium. So I can maybe, I can put that up for a little bit. It might not sell immediately, but I know in the next hour or so, it will definitely sell. So you definitely got to have rules to stipulate how you buy and sell. Another, another illustration of rules is I told you guys I was looking for that um I was looking for uh, what's his name at water I was gonna get that at water this weekend which I got him that's why the coins are so low so let's see how much he's going for he's going for about 333 I got him for about 330 which is cool um, I should have got him Saturday morning because he was like 270 but I kind of held off because I thought that was the price he was normally gonna float around 
but he didn't. He went up an additional uh, 60k, so we lost that. But you know, that's that's just that's just a part of the game. Well, never mind. 355. No, yeah, 333. I'm tripping. It's the lowest. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get probably. I got one more. I want one more card. I need to buy today. Uh, so I'll probably I'll probably. I ain't gonna lie. By the end of the day, I probably only had like 20k coins. But by tomorrow, we'll be back up at 100k and we'll be rolling. So that's AI the Month Mechanics. It's another auction hall basics tips video. Hope you guys like the video. Appreciate all the love. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.